Welcome back. Well, we've done tons of stories about this year about market housing. We just talked about the mm -hmm. fixed rates going down and how much change it has happened in the last just past year. So we found this clip in the WNDU vault where one company made it their mission to make the housing in our area look just a little bit better. Take a look. This home clearly has a few problems, but within a year it will probably turn out as nice as this one. Neighborhood Housing Services, or NHS, bought the house last week and will coordinate its renovation. Because NHS makes renovation its business. This weekend you can see what NHS has already accomplished on the Affordorama. It's a tour of 10 homes which have seen partial or full renovation in this northwest neighborhood. We would like for people to come into our neighborhood to look at it as an affordable option when, when thinking about buying a home. People have found the convenience of downtown living coming back again. Inner city neighborhoods nationwide have again become popular. Residents like the convenience and the mixture of people. The neighborhood's changing for the better. It's changing for the better a whole lot. Clement Gramza has lived here all his life. He credits NHS for the changes. The one God sent to us was the neighborhood housing services. And when they came in, it, uh, it was unbelievable what they began to accomplish so very quickly. NHS offers technical and financial assistance to homeowners. Dee Graybosch and her husband moved here a couple years ago. NHS made it easier. Very affordable. Um, we had virtually nothing <laughs> when we started out. And NHS was very helpful in loaning us the money at low interest rate to do the painting and all the re rehabilitation work. If you've walked along the streets of the Northwest neighborhood lately, it's easy to see what a difference NHS has made. With its help, residents have been able to restore the character of their old homes and bring back stability to the neighborhood. Reporting from South Bend, Janine Gazdecki, New Center 16. Always great to see Janine. She's still in the in the area. She's an attorney. Oh, you know, uh, locally, yeah, at Barnes and Thornburg. So, uh, but uh, programs like that have been around in, in different uh, names and different uh, organizations have tried to do that. One thing that strikes me too, as I watch that, is I, I did a story on this a long time ago. Maybe we'll find it in the vault. How many homes in this area, especially the older ones, are Sears homes? That is, it, back in the 1920s and 30s, you could order a home from the Sears catalog. Right out of the catalog. Like just flip and it through and say, I want this house. I want this house. And they would ship it to you by rail. It would come in on, on a rail car and they'd offload it and bring all this stuff to your site and then you built it yourself. And well, with anybody else you got to help you. But, but there are a lot of Sears homes in the South Bend area, all through this area. And, and some of the really nice ones actually, there's a, one called the Magnolia that's on North Shore Boulevard right along uh, the St. Joseph River, it's a beautiful white home. Yeah, so. That is very interesting. Yeah. The more you know. Thank you, Gary. Yeah.